Hello guys, today we're going to be doing Mathematical Literacy Paper 1, November. That is grade 12 question paper. As you can see, it's a grade 12 question paper. It's Maths Lit Paper 1, November. So guys, without wasting any time, let's go. We're going to be answering question 3. If you haven't watched my previous videos, um, I'll leave the link where I answer question 1 and question 2. But today is question 3, guys. So, yeah. Let's try and answer question 3, guys. Let's answer question 3. So, guys, make sure you focus and uh, pick your pen or something to, to write on. Uh, we are going to question 3. Which is show how the total value. Let me just read the table first. It's table 4 below shows the number of people per province working in two working places. nearly, Namely, usual workplace UWP and work from home WFH for the last quarter of 2020 and the first quarter of 2021. Um, let me zoom in so that you guys can see the table properly. I'm sure you guys can see the table now. Let me... You can see the table yeah so yeah let's go and answer the questions now uh use table four above to answer the questions that follow show how the total value of 83,5 for south africa was calculated how the total value of 83,5 was calculated i think this one every one of us will get this right um because it's straightforward we have to show how the total value of 83,5 was calculated. As you can see, 83,5 on the table. As I zoomed here, you can see 83,5. So how was it calculated? I think all of us will get this uh, right. So it was calculated by adding all the numbers here. That's how you calculate it. You add all the numbers from WFH. You start with 18, 18,4, 5,6, 0,5, 2,9, 9,5, 3,1, 33,1, 5,7, 4,7. Then you get 83,5. Uh, 3.1.2. Give one reason why the values in the table will differ from the actual workplace values. Give one reason. It needs common sense, this one. Um, the total, the table value is given in 10 thousands. That's why the table value is given in ten thousands. Three comma one, uh, three point one point three. Write down the number, the number of people who worked at their usual workplace UWP in Gauteng during the first quarter of twenty twenty one. Write down the number of people who worked at their usual workplaces, uh, um, UWP in Gauteng during the first quarter. The first quarter of 2021 okay the first quarter of 2021 we are going to focus on the first quarter of 2021 which is right here you can see on top here is written the first quarter of 2021 here as you can see first quarter of 2021 so we're going to, we're going to focus there because we are talking about the first quarter of 2021 obviously uh so yeah uh, let's go they say uh Write down the number of people who worked at their usual workplace. Usual workplace, UWP. UWP. We are talking about UWP now. So guys, here we're going to answer by saying, uh, I had to increase the brightness first, guys. That's why I paused the video. So here, guys, we're going to say um, 365,9 multiplied by 10,000, which is equals to 3,659,000. Some of you are asking, why do we do that? Some of you are asking, why, where do we get 10,000? For those who are asking, where do we get 10,000? They say here, look at the table. First quarter 2021 is in 10,000. 10,000. So we have to multiply the number by 10,000. It's in 10,000. So we have to multiply the number by 10, by, by 10,000. Because it's in 10,000. They did. If it's what if it was in if it was in millions, we're gonna multiply by a million. But now it's in ten thousand. That's why they write this in ten thousand. They didn't write this just for nothing. In ten thousand. And for those who are asking where do we get three hundred and sixty-five comma nine 
those who are asking that are actually the ones who are ignorant most of the time because I read the question multiple times. It says write down the number of people who worked at their usual workplace, UWP, in Gauteng during the first quarter. In Gauteng during the first quarter of 2021. So in Gauteng during the first quarter of 2021, where is, it, where is Gauteng? Here is Gauteng. You can see Gauteng here. At number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Gauteng. Then you, you go to to 2021, UWP. Then you find 365,9. Uh, for better experience, as, as I always say, just download the question paper. 3.1.4. Give one example of a job that cannot be done by working from home. One example. Uh, that's actually being a, a doctor. Or nurse and police, police security guard. There are many, many, many jobs. You just need to use your brain. Cashier, uh, plumbing, those are all the jobs. We go to 3.1.5. Calculate the mean number of people in WFH category of South Africa in the last quarter of 2020. So what is the mean number here? The mean the mean number what do we do when we calculate the mean number calculate the mean number of people in w in the wfh category for south africa in the last quarter 2020 uh, 2020 so we are focusing on last quarter 2020 on whf so how, what do we do when we calculate the mean that's 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 the question what do we do i'm sure by now you know guys uh, if you don't know you're in trouble to be honest uh, when you calculate the mean, you add all the numbers. Let's say let, um, WFH, you add all the numbers. 21,7, 7,2, 0,5, uh, 3,2, 9,4, 2,4, 36, 5,8, 6,3. 6, and you divide by 9. Why do we divide by 9? We divide by 9 because... Um, because how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's why we divide by 9. If there were 10 numbers, we divide by 10. If there were 11 numbers, we divide by 11. So we divide by 9 because there were there were, there were actually 9 numbers. 9 numbers. There were actually 9 numbers. So the answer you get is 10,34. 10, 10,34444. Which you could just round off. Okay, guys, now we are going to 3.2.1. Uh, I'll have to read here quickly. South Africa's, South Africa's unemployment rate increased from 34.4% in quarter 2 in 34 to 34.9% in quarter 3 of 2021. The number of unemployment people in, qu in quarter 2 was 7.6 million, which is 183,000 less than quarter 3. The graph below indicates the unemployment rate for different genders and the total South Africa, the total for South Africa for the first three quarters. So here's the table, guys. You can see. So guys, if you want to uh, look at the table, you can just pause the video and look at the look at the table or download the question paper. Uh, write down the quarter which showed the highest rate of unemployment. Okay, guys. Which quarter showed the highest rate of unemployment? Which is uh, at the table. Check the table. It's quarter three. Uh, sorry guys for for the noise if you can hear the noise uh, it's raining outside um yeah it's raining outside it's raining in in Jobek. it's raining calculate the number of unemployment of unemployed people in quarter three the number of unemployed people in quarter three um quarter three which is less hundred and eighty three thousand um Okay, how do we calculate the number here? We say seven point six million, seven seven thousand seven point six million, which is seven million six hundred thousand. In case you didn't know, plus hundred and eighty three thousand. Then we get the number of 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 unemployed people in quarter three. Okay, where do we get these numbers? How where do we get seven point six million? When we read the, the table, the number of unemployed people in quarter two was 7.6 million, which is less than, than, than 
quarter three, which is less than 183,000 less, which is 183,000 less than in quarter three. The number of unemployment people in quarter two was 7.6 million, which is 183,000 less than in quarter three. That's why we plus. I know the English is very difficult. I myself find it hard to, to explain, but the, we have to add, guys. We have to add because it's 7.6 million in quarter in quarter two, which means which is less. They say which is 183,000 less than quarter three. That simply means quarter three has more 183,000. That simply means we have to add. Hey, if you don't understand, guys, it's very difficult. We just have to study English. That's how you can understand. Uh, there's no way I can explain it on a different way. 3.2.3. Determine the increase in percentage of unemployment women from quarter 1 to quarter 3. Uh, let's say uh, the increase is actually 37.4% minus 34%, which is equal to 3.4%. That's the increase. Uh, you can see here uh, 34 34 percent you just have to look at the table guys um south africa's unemployment rate increased from 34.4 percent in quarter two to 34.9 percent here is just an explanation you just have to look at the at the at the table guys guys uh quarter three is actually 30 30 37.4 percent as you can see you can check a look a uh, woman and then take a look at the table it's close to 37 comma something percent here some of you will get this wrong if you didn't look at the table properly so so now we are going to the last question as it was as it is raining in south africa we are going to the question two the unemployment rate for quarter two was 34 comma four percent determine the number of people employed in south africa employed in south africa during quarter two the number of people employed in south africa during quarter two we can just say employed. Employed. We're trying to find the percentage of people who are employed. We say 100% minus 34.4%. Remember, unemployed people, the people who are unemployed are 34.4%. So we are trying to find the people who are employed. So the answer is 65.6%, which is the people who are, em who are employed. Then we say number of employed people, which is 65.6%. Divide by 34.4%, which is uh, the, uh, the unemployment rate. Then we say multiply by 7.6 million. Then we're going to get 14,493,023. This is the number of people employed in South Africa during quarter two. This is how we get the answer, guys. So, guys, um, I'll try to explain more. So, guys, make sure you subscribe, like the video, share the video. Um, this is it. The next question is question four. Peace.